Hi there, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today we're answering a question from Jessica McKinney and her question comes in the down bar of episode 15 where we were discussing how to make our arms feel more stable while shooting and she says, so do you recommend the weaver stance or the isosceles stance? And my answer is neither one. I don't recommend a blanket stance for every person. Kind of the same way as I don't recommend a specific gun for every person. It's individual. It depends on how your body is put together, how your weight is distributed, um, how long your arms are, how wide your shoulders are. All of those things will impact what kind of stance you choose. I don't use either one. I don't use a weaver or an isosceles. Personally, I use what's referred to as a Chapman stance. Um, it's what works for me. Uh, isosceles feels terrible. It doesn't feel stable. It doesn't feel stable back to front to me. Um, I And Chapman feels terrible, or I'm sorry, Weaver feels terrible because I have really bad knees, tons of tears in my meniscus, and canting my feet to the side, it's just, that doesn't work for me, okay? It just, it hurts. <laughs> it doesn't work. I have found with my students, hundreds of people that have come through classes and private training and things, and I've also heard this from the people that instructed me, most people shoot best when both their thumbs and their toes are pointing toward the threat. And I have found that to be true that was said to me way back and I have found it to be true with myself and with other people. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm getting far away but hopefully you can still see what's going on. I just want you to be able to see kind of what's going on <laughs> with my legs and things. Hopefully you can see this. An isosceles stance has both of my feet pointed toward the threat and then a gun, the gun is extended out in front of me. Okay, so from the side my feet are pointed toward the threat and the gun is extended out in front of me. My thumbs are pointed toward the threat and so are my feet or so are my toes. But for me personally, I don't feel stable back to front. Even leaning into it, if something pushed me or if I was headed downhill or something, it doesn't feel as stable to me. Weaver stance has the support side foot forward, the toes canted to the side, roughly 45 degrees angle, and it has a strong arm straight behind the gun, a bent support hand pulling back in isometric tension between the two hands, like so. I'll show you that from the side. Feet are canted. You can't see my feet, but you can imagine that. Gun is extended forward. Now, the only difference between that and what I do is I just take those toes and face them forward. So I keep my toes and my thumbs pointing toward the target. That's what works for me. But my body is put together differently than someone else's might be. The way my weight is distributed on my body might be very different than someone else's. So what works for me might not work for you or for someone else. When someone comes to me from the very beginning and they've never touched a gun before, once we get through the safety and how to grip it, um, the next thing we work on is how to pick a platform or a stance as some people call it. And what I like to do is wheel the target backer in and have them throw a punch. You might have heard me talk about this in my old series called Preparing the New Shooter. When I talk about a stable fighting platform, I'll link that video here if you're interested in watching it. But I go into detail about how to find a stable fighting platform for you. And uh, I like to watch how someone throws a punch. How do you naturally do it? Some people naturally come out with their strong foot, but that's rare. That's rare. <laughs> Uh, out of the people that I've worked with specifically, you know, personally, I would say maybe 3% of them step out with their strong foot. Just really rare. Most people step out with their support side foot and then lean into it, um, keeping a hand free to protect the face or guard the, you know, guard something. That's what most people naturally do, and that's how most people naturally shoot better with a support side foot forward. Why? Why is there a big difference between isosceles with the feet squared and a weaver or a chapman with the support side foot forward? The biggest difference is that the weight is distributed in such a way that you're stable both front to back and side to side. So with a wide platform, like if your feet are wide apart and you have one forward, 
That just gives you stability front to back and side to side. It gives you an extra component of stability. So I hope that helps you and we'll see you in the next video.